Hi, it's Justin. I thought I'd give you a quick look behind the scenes of what it looks like to produce an audiobook and the kind of the process that I've, I've been going through. Um, sort of a bit about the the author journey, I suppose. Um, the I, I'm using this piece of software called Audacity, and you can use it for things like podcasts uh, or audiobooks as well. Um, it's super easy to to use. Um, and I'll just show you kind of how I've been going through it. So when I've done my recording, I'm, I'm partway through editing this this recording here. Um, what I what I do is when I make a mistake, is I clap. I use a proper microphone. I'm not using my proper microphone to record this this evening, but I, I clap and it makes these sound waves here. Uh, so if I play that. So I know that I've made a mistake. Um, so it's just a case of finding out whereabouts I need to, to go from to, to cut that out. So I'd probably check this out. So the I doubled out. these to £100. So I'll check that bit. And if I say, so if I double these again. So I'm now only paying. So uh, I've obviously made a, a bit of an error and I've got to cut the right bit out. Um, so all I do to do that is I highlight it and then I chop it out. The other parts of the, the recording as well, as you'll see here, I've obviously paused to take a breath. So now... So that's obviously where I've made the mistake as well. So I've now identified where I've made the mistake. So I'll take that and I can cut it out. This now pause that I've got here is probably where I'm taking a breath. Okay. So I'm now... So what I do there is I... Highlight that and I click this button up here and it basically mutes that segment so I can remove all of the kind of the breathing sounds where it intakes of breath and things like that. I can even shorten sometimes if I've paused halfway through a sentence, it's not the end of the recording. So I can just take a tiny little snippet out uh, and do that. There, for example, I've obviously taken too long a pause so I can, I can shorten that out and how I normally do that is I highlight it. I then mute it all and then I'll make a decision about kind of how long I want the pause. I might adjust that again after I've listened it through. So I, I just continually do that through through the process. Um, the Audacity software is really, really good. It allows you to amplify things, dumb things down, um, normalize the track as well. It's taken a bit of learning, um, but now I've got my microphone configured correctly on the whole. When I finish the editing process and I save it, it actually passes the requirements for um, um, the the Audible uh, platform, uh, it hits the right decibel level as well. I find this software really confusing and difficult to use. Um, the the key, a good friend of mine said, you know, Justin, make sure it's right on the first take as best you possibly can. It's you know the quality of the audio is the thing that that really matters when you you put it in the system. So anyway, it's a bit late in the evening here, but I, I thought it was worth just sharing something. So anyway, thanks for for watching. Bye.